Hey everybody, and welcome back to Dracky Cup number 16. This is going to be the finals cast, as you can see, between Bozo Cow and Bozo Cow. I'm losing my mind over here. And I am joined by Cow Schmau, so another cow into the mix, of course. Say hello to the people. Hello, people! To the, the people! glowing! Hello to and the people! The cows are casting. Okay, okay. I, I get you're going for, like, the magpie thing. I get it, I get it. Yeah, what, what else? Gotta pay respect to those two came before. But I literally said hello to the people. I mean, whatever, whatever. One of these days, my co-casters are going to catch on to this. Kinnix is uh, shouting out himself in the chat. That's very nice, very nice. Well, before we get into this finals, which, by the way, this is me and Just Carrier. Uh, it's not actually me fighting a ghost of myself. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and look at our um, info documents here, if we can. And the first thing you'll notice is it's not a text document, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> what do you think about this, Cal? This is, this is some, this is some art right here, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, Just Carrier always brings it with, uh... BitInfo.txt's. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I did actually get the the real text version as well, so let's just look at that so my mind doesn't explode here. Just Carrier takes Savon, I take Galzian, Ban, College Teeth. Uh, I think that goes without explanation. I freaking hate this map. And he's gonna ban Firebase Krill, which is a little bit interesting to me. And he grabs Galzian Territories for game one. Uh, I take Canyon Outpost and Kartoba. He takes Torrent Crater, then Tight End Passage, the Boneyard, and the last map is gonna be the Shallows. Um, I feel pretty good about this, except I don't really like how the Shallows is the last map, but other than that, I was pretty happy with the with the picks here. What are your thoughts, feelings, and emotions? Yeah, I'm... I'm surprised by by the Ace Smash on the Shallows. I, I hope it gets to that point so we can see some shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't really like that, but again, uh... How many maps are in the pool? Nine. And we play seven games, right? And so, um, with the two bands, every map is going to be played. So, when I grabbed Tight End Passage for, uh, what is it, game five, I probably should have been thinking about this. That forces the Shallows to be the ace match if Just Carrier wants it, so. Bit of a mistake there in the draft, but. But no, I'm, I'm a perfect DOK player. I never make mistakes. Mistakes? What? I've never <laughs> done that before. Let's go ahead and jump into game one here. This isn't receiver two. Yeah, that, that's true. This is, in fact, not receiver two. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and pause it 2955 so we can get synced up. As I pause to have a sip on my drink. See, that's a throwback. Oh, yeah. All right, whenever you're ready. I'm almost there. All right, ready when you are. Okay, on go. Three, two, one, go. So here we are, Galzian territories. Uh, Galzian versus Sovan. Obviously, I need to rush. Yeah, isn't that what you would say? Um, yeah, this is the prototypical rush map. Which is exactly why I'm not going to do it. Ha! <laughs> the subversion. Oh, I'm so good at this game. Cow <laughs> Schmau right. is just like rolling her eyes. What on earth is this? <laughs> Some shenanigans. Russian plant. Kinix is saying that I'm a Russian plant. I didn't know, but I mean, I can't really argue. I think he knows me better than I know myself. Well, it's going to be Carrier Production Upgrade here for Just Carrier. Again, uh, the nameplate says Bozo Cow, but just ignore that. Um, LAV Fab on the queue as well. And I think that Just Carrier would say what his plan was here is that because I'm really good at rushing and he thinks I'm just going to do it pretty much every game, he wants to uh, preempt that by attacking with LAVs every game. How's this for flipping the script on a map which lends itself really, really well to Gaussian and Kinef rushes, um, production cruiser rushes. Most of going refinery mode, and just carriers going for an LAV rush. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I do sort of take some kind of perverted joy in flipping the script like that, you know? It's fun for me. Production. Desert bus looking kind of cool. <laughs> yes, I agree. If you haven't played this game, by the way, pick it up, man. It's totally worth it. And, uh, you can see I'm not being greedy with my build here, so I did get a sand skimmer out before I, um, started building my next PC. Before I built any other salvagers as well. You can see, now my second PC is queued here, but if I see LEVs, I might cancel this. I honestly don't quite remember what I do in this game. Let's find out, shall we? Looks like the, the sand skimmer is about to see the LEVs, figure out what's up. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't look- oh, oh yeah, okay, I cancelled the uh, PC and started a soldier tech. Those are generally very good against LAVs. Mm -hmm. We are gonna see what happens. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, I think that LAVs actually technically outrange assault ships, but it's by so little it's pretty much impossible. Let's see how this scuffle goes here. Just Carry does not need to do a whole bunch of damage here, but he'd love to. First LEV gonna get picked off though, he's fighting up the high ground a little bit as I get the traditional hiccups, that's also that's also good to see. <laughs> Looks like just carrier attacking a salt pack too. Oh yeah, he's already got it, alright. Very good tech. Really changes what LAVs can do, but he's actually used it already though. Huh. And again, fighting up a bit of high ground here, I think this is really pretty good for me. I actually haven't lost a single skin yet, if I recall. Yeah. Yeah, just carrier is still double producing LAVs. He's just trying to get those numbers up and overwhelm you. The first assault ship is on the way. It's about halfway done in that PC there. It's also gonna have armor one when it comes out. Salvager taking some fire though. Is it gonna go down? <gasps> no way! Got out! I'm like 24 HP. Oh, that is just brutal, uh... man. That's just brutal. I even feel bad about that, even though it's good for me. <laughs> and there's the first assault ship. I think that makes things really difficult for just carrier. Although he does have damage too, almost finished. Um, second pr production cruiser out for Boso Cow, by the way. Indeed, more assault ships following. It's gonna be real difficult to fight this now. You can see those LEVs hurt the assault ship for sure. They're actually gonna kill it here, I think. But who are they? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, it goes down, but, yeah, it, but it, it costs him a lot. Um, Unix last tab looking pretty even, though, so, um... That's actually true, yeah. I, I think it still is better for me if the units lost tab looks even, though, because, of course, I am on two base and I'm moving up to three. Let's see if Just Carrier is doing the same. I think that's an SC he's queuing now. Um, yeah, he's queuing an SC and more LAVs. I'm really bad at reading carrier lights, so hopefully that's it. <laughs> and, uh... You can see he's he's still sharking around, like he wants to have field control if he can, but it starts getting real tough to fight these, uh, these assault ships here. Yeah, I think you've, you've got a critical mass of them at this point. It's gonna be really tough to get on top of them with the LAVs. I could even pick up armor too at some point if I like, but it doesn't seem I'm prioritizing it just yet. Few shots being fired again. I can actually be some dead LEDs already. Yep, looks like you're gonna grab a couple. Yeah, one of them went down at least. It's also really tough in the early game for Savon to heal these things up. You can see finally a sport cruiser is out, but until then, you know, the Savon carrier doesn't have any healing on the board at all. It's kinda getting behind me now, it's a little bit awkward. Although, who can do more behind damage? You or... Yeah. Yeah. This is is he probably getting good behind you, or are you just ignoring the LAVs to do eco damage? You like... think being the one who played this, I would like be able to tell you what I was thinking here, but... <laughs> well, if you've ever cast your own games, you know, it's a lot of self-doubt. <laughs> oh yeah. For sure. Well, the LAVs are, are hitting got... my main base, I'm hitting his second. Looks like this logistics module is already dead. I mean, you've got the the assault ships at home to defend. 
so... I feel like you come out ahead of this. Yeah, Salvager didn't quite die, he's down to 60. The LAVs have damage too, so they actually hurt a lot, but they're... having trouble finding any targets here. And on the other side, second base is completely denied for now. It's another demolition pack, that one was a little bit... That one was a little bit wide. Looks like two Salvagers are gonna bite it in the end. That'll get cleaned up. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look so good, does it? <laughs> yeah, not for just carrier, no. I mean, he's kind of forced to attack railguns. First one just hit the field. Mm -hmm. But well, at least help him against the assault the... ships. Yeah, getting back onto that second base is gonna be brutal with four assault ships on his doorstep. And and this freaking or god more hill. on the way. Yeah, this god hill right here <laughs> is so annoying to play against if you have that spawn. So really taking advantage of this. <laughs> yeah, I think I've said it before, um... When the unit's loss tab looks like it does, where I'm like up by almost twice as many- or no, more than twice as many CUs, although I guess I haven't lost- uh, taken any RUs away from him yet. But still, and I'm the one on 3 base, like, that just really feels a bit desperate. You can see heavy rails building as well, I guess I figured that would be the easiest way to finish this out. You know how bad I am at using air units, so we're not gonna we're not gonna go down that route. <laughs> you know, I'm actually a little bit impressed at the patience here. I'm being very principled with the assault ships, I'm not just throwing them in to die. That's what I usually do. Yeah, it's tough to avoid throwing ASs sometimes. <laughs> yeah, as you were saying on chat the other day, huh? <laughs> the jokes never end with this unit, man. The jokes never end. Well, he's gonna push me out with this carrier, obviously, uh... Assault ships do not kill carriers very effectively. <laughs> so that is gonna make me yield the location. See, I'm teching range calibration, though. I think the push is gonna be on the other side of the map. Is he actually building, uh, salvagers right now? Yeah, he is. Wow. That's pretty aggressive. You can see he's teching Missile Battery Fab 2. And he kind of has to, right? Because he can't get any vision on my side of the map. So for all he knows, you know, there's railguns coming... Or, sorry, there's air units coming out. In fact, it will be the railguns here, so that's always unfortunate for him. But kind of forced in this scenario. I don't know, like, maybe he could build a base runner and try and get vision like that. That probably wouldn't be worth it. Smoking hot railguns, by the way, as they do have the ranged calibration turned on. And it looks- oh, okay, Just Carrier actually had time to cancel the, uh, missile battery fab, so that's really convenient for him. But still, this is quite an asymmetrical railgun fight now. It's tough to fight this kind of thing. He's got the probe, which is giving him vision, but still, actually it looks like it's gonna be killed now by the base runner here. No actual kills, though. Some low health bars, but both the other giving each other a lot of respect. Yeah, no kills on either side. In fact, I think maybe I'm giving a bit too much respect. I definitely win this, right? I should probably be pushing it a little bit harder. <laughs> Meet the hot railguns in your area, yes. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the uh, range calibration effect is the exact same one for carrier overheat, so it literally is just getting really hot. <laughs> Make of that what you will. Four assault ships over on the south side of the map, by the way, just kind of glaring at just carrier over here. <laughs> but I'm leaving them there because they help keep the base runners alive. And I don't think he can really afford to commit railguns to that side of the map. I mean, this is rough. You, you kind of need to have, like, artillery at this stage, but it's not at all clear how he's going to get that. He's... he's got the eco for it. Um, he teched AAVs, so... I guess he could tech up to it if he needed it. Oh! <laughs> he's just going to GG. Yeah, not if he's dead, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just... it's tough, because you can tell he wants to go there, but it's just going to take too long. Too many railgun losses, I think, and he just figured that was unrecoverable. Alright. 
easy game, man. Not even at all in question that I was gonna win that. Frankly. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not the only one who finds my my hubris to be funny. Let's jump into game two. This one is on Canyon Outpost. This is my pick. Yeah, did you notice that cow? Actually, just Carrier was the one who grabbed uh, Galaxian territories. What do you think his thought process there was? I'm not sure. Um, might as well get it out of the way. Yeah, that's maybe what I was thinking too. Like, he knows it's going to be a strong map for me, so let's do it, you know... Let's not make that the ace match, right? Let's do it right at the beginning. Although I definitely didn't play it like he expected I would. Well, I'm in position now, are you too? I'm still loading up, I'm almost there. And it'll be Canyon Outpost. The map where everyone loses everything on that stupid bridge. <laughs> don't, we, we don't talk about that. <laughs> we don't talk about the bridge, we don't talk about the bridge. Even though that that is the one game of that series that I actually won. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? I forgot that. Yeah. Oh boy, man. Yeah, you gotta love All that right. bridge. So I have assumed the position. Um, we Excellent. are ready to go. Excellent. On go. Three, two, one, go. Well, hopefully, uh, in the upper bracket finals, we're not just going to see us, like, throw 900 units on that bridge, but I'm not going to make any promises. <laughs> not going to make any promises. This is a, uh, base runner retention game for me, by the way, so probably this will be ref mode and we'll try and be as greedy as we can. This build, uh, was not really popular at all, um, until, like, maybe JC14 or something. But, like, since then I've started trying to do it, and it's actually really effective, so I've become a big fan of this. Conf can do it too, of course, but not with that scanner, so they're a little bit more likely to lose the base runner, but still, they get that vision that they need. Yeah, I've been seeing, um, Cookies who's done that a lot lately, right? Yeah, yeah, where he's Conf and he just kind of drives the base runner out and sees what's up. By the way, kind of a funky build from Carrier, too. Like, you see how he always leaves the two are you guys on for a little bit and then he drives them out? I wonder if he's doing that because he just doesn't have money for the... Doesn't have money for the debt pack before that? Or maybe it's just, you know... Maybe it's just the small inefficiency in the build. Could be, like... Just Carrier is definitely... Ooh the kind of player who thinks long and hard about this stuff, usually. And he is actually going SC first here, by the way. If you notice, I started queuing my second PC before I even get skimmer fed, so I'm, I'm being extremely greedy here, but... I guess I think I can get away with it, because I have a read that he's going for eco. Honestly, I don't know how I know that. This, this looks like it's an LAB build, but maybe I'm just a magician. Yeah, gonna be interesting to see what he actually does. He's going for LAV Fab and the carrier production upgrade, so I am expecting a lot of LAVs early. Yeah, like a two base LAV push maybe? But I haven't seen this before, this is kind of an interesting idea from him. Okay, there's production upgrade. And he's got plenty of money to start spamming. Looks like he was pop blocked though. Oh, going for AAVs. Yeah, straight to AAVs. By the way, good uh, TJ there. I mean, you might as well have it attack the scanner, right? right down it goes. And for me, I've actually pulled all of the RU guys off, so I really just want CUs right now, apparently. This is a very, very greedy build. Like, I. I would recommend you do this if you know your opponent is going eco, but honestly this is a little bit scary to even see in a replay of myself. <laughs> this is very, very greedy. Look, the bridge! I took the bridge, Cal! It's over! <laughs> The 
bridges or I, I guess what I'm nervous about here is like You yeah. don't know that it's AAVs. Yeah, yeah. Would have been big if that scheme could get through and see it, but that was denied. And here, it doesn't look like you're gonna see the, the three base timing either, because. And he was building an AV for a second minute, but he cancelled it. Okay, he's got more on the way. But yeah, you're right, I, I, I don't have any vision on three base, so. Me being that greedy, it's like, how do I know he doesn't have, you know, five AVs up on that extraction, like the artifact that's on the other side of the bridge? He could, and then the game's just over. It's very, very risky for me. A third PC! Ah! <laughs> wow. Alright. I'm a madman. It's official. I kind of hope you go for four. Just at, at least get a happy <laughs> meal in there. Nah, man, we need the 10-piece chicken nugget build. That's what we need. <laughs> you you know I was actually trying for that in the group stage, right? But I just could never make it work. <laughs> yeah. It's like... It's the white whale of production cruiser builds. <laughs> Indeed. If you All can, right. you must. Oh. It's just it's just how it is. Yeah, back to the game, I guess. Um, oh, yeah, the game is... Uh, awesome. The AAVs on the right side of the map um, get swiped out. Um, really excellent skimmer micro as I stand still and get shot to death by an SC over there. <laughs> but but hey, you know I'm I'm counterattacking, right? Push my opponent off his third for a little bit. Armored unit defense is teching. I'm building them out of the PCs, so I should be fine for this AV push probably, especially with the carrier here. Yeah, AAV versus assault ship fights always feel a little bit tenuous to me. Like I never, yeah. I never feel super comfortable in fighting armored units with armored units. Oh, it's them. definitely true. It's definitely true. I'd say the smokes being down for me already is actually quite helpful. Also, base runner heal is gonna come in here, so that's that's always nice. But till uh, still, two salvagers go down. not ideal. Looks like I was, after all, just a little bit late on getting the assault chips out. And that probably is just the price I pay for being such a greedy little boy. <laughs> also, uh, I want to point out, fighter and gunship tech is almost done for just carriers, so that's gonna be his tech choice here. And... there's not really a response to it on your end. No, not as of oh. yet. We're taking armor 3, right? You know, what, what I should be able to notice is that, like, Armor 1 just finished for him, so he really has not invested all that much into these AVs. So, that should probably tell you that something like Air is a possibility. See if you can do damage on the third base now. Well, I'm having to evacuate, but he hasn't hit the eco just yet. I think that I win this fight, actually. Although, he did just finish Armor 2, but I have 3. Good smokes, though. Oh, salvagers, keep moving! Ah! <laughs> that looks like one's gonna go down. This ain't good, man. There's a lot of eco disruption here. And really good smoking by just carrier, too. Like, I always say it, alright, but people don't use this ability enough. Smokes are extremely effective, so this is, this is what you want to see. And I'm just now seeing that strike fighters are being produced inside the coalition carrier, or Savon, I guess, but whatever. What's the difference, really? Whoa, is the space runner gonna lose? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, it looks like with the carrier there, it, it is. It's gonna clean up those uh, AAVs. <laughs> More bodies lost on the bridge, you love to see it. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is... Actually, okay, Just Carrier cancelled the Strike Fighters. I don't know. I, I wouldn't have done that if I were him. I would just keep building them. I... Yeah, he's going for Railgun Fab instead, which... I don't know, against the composition you've got, I kind of like it. But... Yeah, like, I like it in principle if he had it, right? But it's gonna take a while. And look, I actually see air tech here too, so this is pretty funny. Perhaps I'm going to 
Yeah, I cancelled Siege to get Missile Ship Fab. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the mind game. What is this game? It's like a 500, 200 fake out over here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All but right. see, I was, I'm thinking he's gonna have trouble on this third base now, right? And if he had strike fighters to help uh, hound these assault ships, that would actually be really nice. Yeah, they would have helped out a lot. It's the death packs, they do some damage. Uh, note his little attack on my main as well. He's got these two AVs driving through over there. But even with the SC, I think I win this pretty convincingly. Yeah, I. You've got time to respond to his push on your main, and yeah, yeah you're you're straight up winning the fight on his third. Artifact comes out as well. So you know it's it's pretty funny to see the air cancel, and then I end up canceling siege because I think he has air, but I, I don't think it was really worth it for him. Okay, somehow I let him get through to my main base though. That's not really ideal. Yeah, but another assault ship pops. You should be fine. And railguns aren't coming out. From uh, just carrier that is. Salvagers are dying though. And now taking carrier systems here, but this feels a little bit awkward too. Now I see the railguns, uh, so I'm gonna start up on the siege. But I think this carrier power would have been a lot more powerful. What is this assault ship doing, by the way? Anyway, the uh, carrier power would have been a lot more powerful if my um, if my opponent actually was going for like air AV. And with the railguns, which are kind of a nice counter to carriers, I don't think I can really use this super effectively. We'll see, though. Missile ships are out, too, by the way. I I'm still thinking there must be air in that carrier, but there's not, so this is an unfortunate uh, expenditure of money that I'm not going to be able to get back. Look, I'm even checking radar guided missiles. Oh. I mean, it's... An air switch could be coming, to be fair. Like, you haven't seen the carrier in a while, you know it's Seric Tech. Yeah, I know he's got it. Could even be bombers, right? You know what would have been better, though, is if I had been going for interceptors myself, just sort of as like a default pick earlier. And then when I see air tech, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm already ready for you. Okay, what's going on on the bridge now? It looks like more, more men gonna be thrown to their deaths. Actually, you know what? These uh, railguns don't really have any cover. Note that my carrier yeah. is building a siege cruiser right now, though, and the butt is facing right into, like, five AVs. That's gonna be important later. <laughs> wow, I can't kill that railgun either. Oh, that's so brutal. The smoke is just too good on top of the SC. Extract gets denied as well just before it can finish. Yeah, this is always a sad, sad thing for Siege Cruises to do where it fires a barrage as it's dying, you know? It's like, well, uh, at least I can get something out of this. <laughs> and Power Systems 4, I really just don't need that, do I? I don't know about that. The carrier gets taken down to half, by the way. Yeah, that's not nothing. Okay, now we're building another siege cruiser, but I, I feel like it's kind of too late. Like, I need, I needed that one to survive, and I need to have, like, more than one. These are armor 3 railguns as well, right? So it's very, very difficult to actually kill these things off with siege. Uh, they actually have quite a lot of survivability to them. Yeah, just Carrier pumping out heck of a lot of railguns right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Carrier Systems 4 does not really answer that. What I need is uh, railguns, maybe Interceptors is even a better pick. Something that can answer these rails, um, other than just using the Carrier to do it. See this fight goes, though. Siege is gonna barrage. So it gets turned into position. Ooh, that is an unfortunate delay, actually. Oh, that's so bad. And the AVs get on it and kill the Siege Cruiser. It doesn't really do much damage to the Railguns. Still, though, only one of them survives. It's mostly just AVs here now. Maybe. 
get that last rail gun. Come on. Uh, not quite. It survives on 42 HP. And notice on the third base location as well, like, oh, I guess I lose. <laughs> but there's there's nothing I can do about this. Yeah, maybe that's probably why I GG'd out here. Yeah, I mean, you were you had your hands full with that that first attack, and with the second one coming in, there there's not much you could do in that situation. Yeah, I probably could have made a try for it, but it was not going to be very likely here. Well, that's a that's a pretty prototypical bozo macro game, isn't it? You know, have all the cards in your hands, and somehow the deck falls apart anyway. That sounded depressing. I'm not really too salty about it. Just that was not a very good game. <laughs> What do you think, Cal? Roast me, I want it. Yeah, I mean, it was... I think it was going well until... I mean, Chess Carrier started getting Railgun so Yeah. And... Yeah, you, you really... I agree with you that Imps would have been an incredible choice. Yeah, I feel like I like almost as... just sort of ignored the railguns the whole game. I don't know. Yeah, like a, as soon as you had the, um, as soon as you saw air tech, like if you'd gone to interceptors, it wouldn't have even mattered that he faked you out and switched into rails because imps are great against rails too. <laughs> Smog is saying if that wasn't a very good game, my perfect play will blind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your your performance will blind me. I see, I see. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm sure that's true. <laughs> no, I think this is why like interceptors as kind of a standard follow up to assault chips is pretty common because if your opponent did go air, you'll be ready for them, and if they didn't, you can use them. I mean, they would be a good answer to those railguns. So, I think that when I see air tech on his carrier, I went to missile ships because it really would kind of be too late to go for interceptors of my own at that point. Uh, although of course he didn't actually have any air, but again, that's a little bit hard to that's a little bit hard to assume. <laughs> yeah, well. I think at at that point, I still really like your chances in a an air war. It's probably true. And I have three PCs, so I can back up and use those as hard points. Honestly, though, I know this is kind of a long post-mortem, but that was probably another mistake, too. I think that that third PC was very, very greedy, and I could have gone for a tech instead of that. Yeah, I... I don't think it killed you, though. Like... No, no. It was recoverable at that point. Although, you saw I took some salvager kills there. Yeah, I think the the point where you saw air attack and didn't go for air of your own was probably where it started going off the rails. And then the power three tech, that one I really want to have back. <laughs> yeah, well, spend those those CUs and RUs on something else. Indeed, indeed. So, are you uh, in position for the next game? Yep, I'm ready to go. As am I. On go, three... Two, one, go. Well, instead of all of those very good lessons to learn, the lesson that I learned from this is just rush them. It's, it's easier, so. <laughs> uh, and it's Kartoba, too. I mean, this is a, this is not like the railgun rush map like Boneyard is, but this is a pretty, pretty good one, I think. A lot of open territory and a big hill next to your opponent's base that you can try to abuse. Well, Cal, I know how much you like a good rail run, uh, railgun rush, so you're going to enjoy this game. That's all I'm going to say. All right, looking forward to it. Um, just carrier, it looks like um, going for the carrier production upgrade early. Um, I expect we're going to see LAV fab immediately after. It's available. Yeah, there it is. And I think that last time he actually saw the scanner with these two salvagers, and that might have been the reason why he cancelled LAVs and started making that SC. This game, I suspect he will do no such thing. That's kind of unfortunate. Now I want to watch the beginning of the last game and see if that's what he did. <laughs>
Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure that it was, so let's just assume. Just carrier definitely playing like he's expecting to rush here. Yes. But again, he did that on Galzian territories too. I think uh, his read really was that it was just going to be like nothing but PC rushes all series. That would be a pretty me thing to do, you know. You'll perhaps I mean, notice. Yeah, you'll perhaps notice this is a railgun focus for me, so I'm going to go for it as soon as I can. Oh, but yeah, I cancel it because I see the LAVs out, so I know what kind of game it's going to be. Two PCs on the queue. And we'll be in a bit of a power trough. Uh, just Carrier has more production than me at the moment, so we're just going to have to wait. And look at that, even Sandskipper raiding before getting the Railgun tech. So, if you go for Railguns here instead, uh, and you get a couple of assaults to help bully the LAVs, I think that can be very effective. But this is sort of me saying, hey, I'm gonna beat you with skims, I don't need to... Uh, I don't need to worry about getting Railguns out. Let's see how that works for me. Yeah, I, I like going Assault Railguns here after you've got the two PCs out. Yeah, rather than but... taking the ups. Yeah. Speaking of which, two PC is done. Um, LAV Assault Pack coming out for Carrier. Indeed. Have that finished in just a moment here. That obviously makes a big difference in these fights. And he's kind of tickling the PC to say, hey, come fight me, you know, I, I bet you can't. I'm gonna take him up on that offer. It's a one for zero, though, that feels pretty good for me so far. A little bit of high ground goes goes a long way. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Damage one teching for both of us, so it'll be finished at, like, the exact same time. Great minds think alike, eh? And again, he's gonna try and sort of invite me in here. It's good terrain for the LAVs, very, very open. Oh, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know DOK very well, these, uh, the red triangles here, they outrange the green triangles, so... Running up towards them, up the high ground, that's, that's not a good idea. <laughs> oh no, man. What a massacre. Oh my gosh. Ooh. We came into that with uh, even numbers, by the way, and now it's 5 to 13, so th if that, like, that that should tell you exactly what happened here. <laughs> oh, and it continues, brutal. what am I still doing here? Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I didn't tell you it was going to be a good rail rush, did I? <laughs> Look, this is like watching one of my games. <laughs> oh boy. Well, imagine how it is for me, man. <laughs> Tell me, did you actually cast any of your own games this tournament? I'm not sure if you did. Um, no, I didn't. Well, you're lucky. <laughs> it's hard to cast your own games, man. By the way, just Carrier, he's gonna decide to take out this PC now. Let's see if I can cancel the units coming out of it. So I should recognize by now, yeah, that's going to go down. There it is. So that sucks. <laughs> yep, always feels bad to start off the game trying to rail rush and end up losing the PC. Yeah, because now I'm kind of back to square one, you know, like, before I even had my second PC out, which, that ain't good. You can even see I tried to move the carrier to do some sort of last-ditch protection of that thing, but it's not going to work out. Systems 1 finishes though, this should give me some defense uh, at the base. I'm trying to think about what to do here. Looks like it's going to be that second PC, well I guess it's the third PC, isn't it? Uh, queuing up out of the carrier. You can see I considered railgun tech for a moment there, but I just don't think assault rails can do enough to overcome this imbalance of strike craft. I mean, what what is the unit count here? 14 to 4, yeah. What do you think, cow? Good odds? <laughs> Is that a fight you would take? 
I mean, let's be real. It's me. I probably would take that fight. <laughs> I see, I see. Whether I actually win or not, that, that's, that's a different question. Notice that I'm uh, holding on to these two salvagers, by the way, but they can't go mine off the two base, which is pretty rough. So, just carrier, meanwhile, um, got a support cruiser out, moved on to the As second base. Very good, very um, good. Got another support cruiser out, moving up to three base. As he should, very good, very good. And now the follow up is probably air tech. Um, I think that's just kind of the easiest way to close out a game like this. He doesn't have a whole lot of RUs, I guess, but he can he can fix that just building more cells. Yeah, in fact, that's what he's doing right now. Tell you what, though, it's a pretty luxurious position to be in where he is because you can kind of do whatever you like and you can make it work. The only thing that concerns me is that he hasn't built any more LAVs for a while. Like, if you check the units tab, we're actually almost even now. It's 14 to 16. He does have armor 1, though. And yeah, sure enough, it's gonna be fighter and gunship tech. Here we go! Oh, this fight actually looks pretty okay for me. Ah, uh, he's got high ground now, though. That hill is yep, a little bit deceptive. He closed the distance. Actually, yeah, this looks really good. It's 6 to 10 now. Four to nine. Yeah, it's looking like you've got this fight. Okay, that makes all the difference. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, he he was trying to route up to this top side, but getting kind of pinched by the Kartoba, he had to move closer to me, and that really helped me out there. If he probably just ran the other way, I think he wouldn't have lost anyone. Well, maybe not anyone, but he wouldn't have lost that fight. And. With that, like, you might actually be back in this game. Yeah, yeah. It's still two base to one. Now, he did have to evacuate his three base, but... By the way, where do you think those guys are going? Is there a world where he mines off of my third with this? Because <laughs> that would be hilarious, you know? No, if, if I were him, I would go for that. Just, just for the memes. I would too, man. I would too. <laughs> it's gonna be double gunship for him. Now this is a little bit rough because now I have the two PCs up in his face, but gunships are still very, very effective in this scenario. Um, we've seen players, even like A-game Inks, do this before uh, in the face of a rail rush where they use the double gunship to just hurt the enemy sandskimmer blob and then they can jump on with the LAVs, but... It's going to take the follow-up of his LAVs, so he needs to make sure he doesn't lose them here. Only loses two, though, so it's not catastrophic. I just saw Armor 2 finishing for me. It looks like he's finishing Armor 2 right about now. And here come the gunships. Let's see what kind of damage these things can do. You can see us both microing like madmen here. I'm trying to split up the skins but also fight the LAVs. It's very hard to do. Just trying to keep those gunships alive. Honestly, that was not a very good reveal. They weren't shooting for very long at all. Uh oh, skins are overrunning now as well. The LAV count is just dropping precipitously here. One of the gunships dies too. Both of the gunships die? Oh. I really don't think you're allowed to get away with that. Uh oh. Brutal. Uh oh. And another logistics spot will go down. Yeah, it's just turbo annoying for coalition players to kill those things off. And that, uh, that evacuated third base, it's like chilling out in the very corner of the map right now, by the way. That's funny. He's actually got some money, I think, in those salvagers. Yeah, he does, but, I mean, you're not easily gonna find a window where you can deal with that when you're trying to fight on the front line. Looks like another gunship gonna be rebuilt, so he thinks, yeah, that is the play, I just messed it up last time. He's gonna try for it again. I'm actually going for AADs. He is, yeah. Which, I mean, if you can't beat this with LAV gunship, try something different. <laughs> yeah, you know, sure enough. <laughs> the only thing I worry about is that we are eventually going to see heavy rails come out. Well, here's an assault rail gun right away. Yeah, just 
Ghost Carrier is bleeding out a ton of CU, some of these statistics, Yeah. It starts to add up, you know? I think it's actually represented in the Units Lost tab now. In fact, I think it was just Carrier who made that change to Draggy, but... I just want to point out, like, you saw in that early game where I took the horrible skimmer trade, now we're even on CUs. In fact, I'm in the lead just a little bit. That's probably not supposed to happen, so... <laughs> Wait, is that true? Maybe I'm the one on the bottom. See, it's almost like it's confusing when both players have the same name in-game. <laughs> Few more LAV scuffles, but these aren't getting too much done. Here come the gunships, though. Ooh, and they're hitting hard now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back away from this. And this time, crucially, they don't die. They're both gonna get to dock and fly another sortie. Oh, gun should be careful, you don't fly back into the PCs. I might have bitten off more than I can chew here, though. The LAVs are on top of me all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, how did this happen? Oh, no. And the railguns are all dead, too, and there's an AV out on the field here. Ah, oh, this is an absolute bloodbath. I love this. Yeah, this is really on the knife's edge, you know? This is like... If I had lost one more skim to the gunships, I think I might have just lost the game right there. But I'm alive for now. And in fact, we're gonna fight the uh, AVs with skims. I don't usually recommend that, but in this case I can kind of get away with it because I do have all the upgrades and he doesn't have any, so... Makes this a little bit possible. Honestly, I, I know this sounds ridiculous, but what I need right now is missile ships. <laughs> Because those gunships actually, I think they showed on that second pass that they can do a lot of damage there. Yep, and you're attacking them. Oh, I am? Yes! <laughs> the other option maybe is to go 3 PC, but like, even I couldn't be that insane, right? And to be fair, you've done that before. It's true, it's true. But that's usually more a situation where like, I'm at fleet cap and I don't want to... I don't want to get more fleet capacity, so I end up floating a bunch, and then I'm like, okay, well, let's spin the float by having three PC. Good split there, I managed to isolate the guy who's getting shot at. Still, that's a lot of damage to skins. Yeah, it's just carrier microing these gunships incredibly well. Yes, this is not easy to do. I hope for my sake I'm building a railgun here. I'm not, I'm building a missile ship. Oh boy. Oh man, but... Okay, here comes Just carry your pulling back with those AAVs. Yeah, I think that even with the health bars being like they were, he wasn't sure he could take the fight. He probably could have traded at least even there. I might have just gone for it if I were him. Uh, railgun oh. armor 2 teching for me, as I have none on the field, by the way. Okay, here comes the first one. That looks By funny, way, but I'm just trying to keep him alive from the gunship, I think. Yeah, go ahead. Something crazy just happened that I I want to make sure we talk about. Just Carrier mm -hmm. just finished teching Bombers. How many Rail Rush games do you see where Bombers show up, man? <laughs> I mean, I guess that was almost what happened with Houston the other day. I don't know if you've seen that one. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you were in chat. But... First bomber on the queue for just carrier. Indeed it is. This won't be a tax stack or anything, but it could still be pretty effective. It's just as well I've got that missile ship, eh? And it's making itself known now. Okay, skins are being pretty aggressive though, I'm not microing these at all to split them. That's a lot of AVs too. Ooh, I've gotta be careful here. Okay, three heavy railguns are out. Missile ship gonna drop its barrage as well. But two of them are just getting boomed on already, as, as the old magpie would say. Oh, I need to keep guiding! Ah! Oh, that was a critical mistake. And here comes the bomber. Okay, maybe it didn't matter either way. He would have just killed it with the bomber. <laughs> that is so, that's so ridiculous. Oh, bomber man. goes down! Yeah, the bomber goes down, but it might not matter. Okay, another railgun came out of the PC, though. Oh my gosh, this game is gonna keep going on! 
By the way, I don't know if it's like this for you, but I'm seeing like a floating dead gunship body just like in the air over where the PCs are right now. Nah, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> okay, it's very spooky though. By the way, I'm thinking at this point, like, how does he have all this money? Because, I mean, I even just took out his two base, but he's mining on three, right? I just don't know about this, so... It's only a pity they're not on my side of the map. That would make it even funnier. Yeah, that's a good point. You haven't spotted that three base yet. Got, uh, EMP rounds coming for the railguns pretty soon. That's gonna be good. But if the railguns just get killed off by bombers, it probably won't matter. And if you check the units lost tab now... Honestly, I still can't tell who's who, but the point is, heavy railguns are really expensive, so it's not easy to replace that. I think this gunship is gonna die? Yep, we'll be all shooting yeah, for that Yeah, it goes guy. down. I mean, maybe this is like, maybe this is really bad practice, what I'm about to say, but I kind of think it doesn't matter. I think that he really just needs to wait for the bombers to come out and kill off the railguns. First one is launching now. Oh, this missile ship wants to die as well. That's not good. Bomb kills a railgun. The other one walked into the AVs. Oh no. Oh no. I hate to see it. And I, I think that's the end, right? I don't know what I can do. Okay, another railgun just popped out. Which you need. Oh, and it cancels the shot to fire the EMP that misses. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Now that was some top tier DOK right there, I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh no. And these three AVs, man, there's no stopping them. Not that I can see. Yep, there's the GG. What a uh, ridiculous what game, a... right? <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, that. That spun back and forth so many times. Yeah, when Just Carrier and I were talking about the series in retrospect, he was just like, flashbacks to game three, man. Because <laughs> when, when you're in the middle of something like this, it is so stressful. I, I had like a really big comeback there, because I never should have had a chance after losing that first PC. And so I'm really, you know, I don't want to I don't want to throw away the comeback, and he doesn't want to let me win after having such a good position. Very intensely contested there. Yeah, that that was a wild game. I liked that one. It's the kinds of games we live for, man. Well, let's jump on to the next one. Just Carrier is going to take that. And for anyone just joining us now, the score is going to be 2-0 to zero now for Just Carrier. He's in the advantage in this series. Is it is it more hubris if I say I think he's the underdog? <laughs> Well, is... only, only one of the two players here has won a Jiraki Cup before. That's true. I mean, yeah. Boso Cow, of course, being the defending champion, and Just Carrier... I think this is his first time in the finals. It is, yeah. It's only his second tournament, I think. Maybe his third. I am uh, in position on Torrent Creator YouTube. Me too. All right, on go. Three, two, one, go. So here we are on the Torrent Creator, and I guess at this point I, like, I kind of want to rush him honestly, but I don't think I can really get away with it. This map is not super great for rushing. To be yeah, honest with you, I don't remember what I do, so we'll find out. Looks like we've got a scouting base runner here, so my guess is probably rough mode. Mm -hmm. You know, it's also a little bit annoying here though, I like to put that scanner where it can see the wreck on his second base. If he's mining off of that with a lot of salves, or even if he has an SC there, then we know what's going on, but on this map I can't really put it there. Also, where's my PC going? Oh my gosh. Cow, I think we've got a fake out on our hands. It's gonna be Sandskimmer Fab after all. Yep, so we've got, um, looks like a, a rush coming out from you. Um, Just Carrier going to support Cruiser first. So, ideal condition for a rush. Oh, and he's going for the production upgrade before LAV Fab too. I don't think I like that because, uh, 
it will delay your first LAV on the field by quite a lot, and at that point, maybe I can get some really big damage in. And I'm gonna sort of reinforce that notion with that scanner, right? By the way, that's like perfect timing, because it sees the SC coming out, so I know exactly what he's doing here. You see, I'm so good at DOK, I never make mistakes. <laughs> So, I think it's kind of going to come down to these first few moments, see how much damage I can do, and especially if I lose any skims here. That's going to determine, you know, how effective this rush is moving forward. I do slow myself down a little bit by keeping that base runner, but I, th I'm, I guess I'm thinking it's worth it to sell the fake here. Yeah, I mean, this, this is your window to attack, by the way. Yeah. It's short, you know. It's very small. LAV Fab is done now, he does have that production upgrade, so he's gonna be out producing me in just a moment. Let's see what I can get done here. One that salvager is dead already. Like one salvager goes down. Looks like that's gonna be it, but he did drop down a debt pack, so it's gonna cost him a little bit as well. First LAV is set in the field. And for me, it's Railgun Fab here, so I'm gonna forego the uh, second PC first. I'm gonna try and get the Railguns out instead. It's risky, but it, it, you know, it could work. Yeah, you can see I'm building one right now. Yeah, I, I like the AR here. Yeah, I can actually do quite a bit of damage to this Swarm Carrier. Um, I think Just Carrier was saying after the game, this is probably a mistake because the Swarm Carrier can damage it really well as well. But I kind of felt like, I guess, you know, I can't build a heavy here or else I just die to LAVs, and I need something that can push on his carrier, so... See how that works out for me. Ouch, yeah, look at the damage already, though. That was without yeah, that's the Systems 1. Look. Yeah, that's the bond carrier doing a great job of zoning out these ARs. Yeah, this is kind of the struggle, is that, like, he's just going to be on 2 base again, right? Unless I can do something about this, so... Feels a little bit tough. AR's making themselves felt now, though. That's always good. And now there's three of them. Uh, three ARs will one-shot an LAV, even without high grounds. So that's a nice breakpoint to have. It's like I want to sit and trade against the Salvager though, but I need to be really careful I don't just die to the carrier. Oh, yeah, there goes the skin for free. The salt pack is done, by the way, that's that's a big change. And vehicle damage level 1 tacking. Yeah. But again, you can see the value of the AR is just picking them off here. If if I was playing this well though, I think I would need to be backing away right now because he has the he has the numbers in a big way. Oh, and I'm gonna like dive on a salvager here. Oh no. Uh, I think I can tell you what's gonna happen here. <laughs> yeah, these salt rails are just dead to rights. Yeah, and the LAV is just overrunning. Ooh, vehicle damage two tacking by the way. Yeah, I really got greedy to try and finish off that one salvager. That was that was a big mistake. And Ouch! That's that's how it goes with rail rushes. Sometimes you you yeah. take one bad fight and it's over. I actually just finished two PC as well, but I think it's just in time to watch everything explode here. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. Sometimes I uh, sometimes I hang on for a while, but this game is probably just over. Yeah, first PC already down to half health. It doesn't look like it's long for this world. Yeah, it's on its way out the door. <laughs> Honor guards. <laughs> oh, I like it. All right. Maybe the idea here is like, look, I've probably lost this game anyway, so let's just go for the Hail Mary, right? And against this composition, if if your opponent's leaning hard into LAVs. Yeah, it'll that feel nice. That is how you punish. <laughs> it'll feel yeah. nice. 
Okay, you know, maybe we've set the groundwork here for just carrier if he's playing a little bit sloppy to walk into a trap. Um, but I still think the game is pretty easily in his hands. He just has to, just has to answer it the, the correct fashion. Which I think would be to keep the pressure up and then, yep, fighter and gunship, he's already teching it. I went over to check his carrier and there it is. It's gonna be ref mode for me as well, so I'm gonna try and just, uh... You know, try and even out the macro just a little bit if I can. But I'll, I'll tell you what, like, if I knew the tech he was doing already, I would probably just surrender at this point. I mean, it's it's definitely not... It's definitely not a likely win here for me. <laughs> to say the least. He's gonna stop that extraction as well, so it's very nice for him. Yep, just commits two LEDs to take down that base runner, and they will kill it. First honor guard is building! <laughs> that is so goofy, you know? If this works, it'll be like one for the ages, right? So. It's probably funny to hear me say that, I mean, I did play this game, but you know. <laughs> I was gonna say, we've seen stupider things before, but I'm not sure if that's true, at least in the finals, you know. Actually, you know what, uh, we saw Catharsis try for like a, uh, Blast Drone Cheese build in the finals against Scarl one time. Dead packs are good. <laughs> and there's the honor guard. I wish I could hear Just Carrier's reaction to seeing this. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> I gotta say though, maybe it's got cleaned up before it even gets a shot off. I know, right? But I gotta say that was probably not good for him to drive the LAVs in there because they are gonna die in that scenario, and uh, that's that's actually pretty bad. But he's got tack bombers yeah. on the queue. Um, gunship on the queue, tack bombers tacking. Oh yeah, yeah, tacking, not on the queue. You know what I mean. And the, the attack bombers are going to be a great answer against the, the Sonner Guard. Mm -hmm. Even with anti-air, you can see I'm teching right now. Uh, this is still going to be a very, very good target for the um, for the bombers to just, like, harass, you know? Harass? That's not even the word. For them to explode into pieces. And he's got the tech finish now. He's going to start queuing up one. And this gunship is going to make itself known. Probably in my naivete, I was like, oh look, he's got a gunship, that's fine, I have Honor Guard anti-air. You know, probably he'll have more than just a gunship, right? <laughs> yeah, There's the HGC AA tech. A little bit too late to use it on the gunship though, right? He's pretty much out of ammo, so he'll be going back to base in a moment. So you can see I hold on to it, don't turn it on just yet. Oh, and, uh, just carrier, double producing bombers. He's got one done, two more on the way. I think you only need two to kill an honor guard, it might be three. This game will let I us, uh, figure it's three. Out. Yeah. It's kind of a cool design for a bomber, isn't it? it looks all like the B2 in a lot of ways. It's a flying wing. Coming in. Oh. oh, it's two, that's for sure. <laughs> two bombers to kill a HGC. Perfect. And with yeah. that, you know it's over. You're gonna GG. I'm like, well, you know, it was worth a try. <laughs> just had to waste a bit of just carrier's time, you know? <laughs> like I said, if I knew the tech he was going for, I probably would have just GG'd already. Well, let's jump into game five here. And uh, game five is potentially match point, right? Scoreline is three to one now in this best of seven, so just carry just has to win one more and he's done. And gonna be on 
Spider Passage. Mm -hmm. This one's my pick, and I feel better about this. Uh, one of the things that I'm... Like, I'm, I'm always a little worried on Touring Trader, that's, that's you know, quite a macro map, right? And this map is a lot better for rushing, so... You can probably take a guess at what I'm gonna do here. I feel a lot more confident on this map than on the other one. Oh, so I'm at, a uh, 2954, by the way. Heresy. Alright, on go. Three, two, one, go. Yep, scanner down by my side, base going to retire, nothing surprising there. And I think Just Carrier probably going to do what he did last time, or... Uh, did he do this last game? He did not. He's going to do what he did on Kartoba and on uh, Galzian Territories. Going with that production upgrade and then spamming out as many LADs as he can. And yep, sure enough, I've got Sandskimmer Fab on the queue. Notice, though, a little adaption for me. I'm actually doing, um... This is a build that I would normally do against other Galzian Conef players, where I have one on CUs on the second base and one on RUs on the main. And the idea is that I don't need Railgun tech super fast. What I really need is my second PC quicker, so... Kind of prioritizing that. And in fact, it looks like the carrier building the uh, seventh salvager. That one also is going to be queued over to CUs. So big focus on the big focus on the orange money for me. And yeah, sure enough, and just think... carrier with the production upgrade and LEDs. Yeah, if just carrier keeps going for the same build he's been going for with early mass LEDs. You really need two PCs to counter that. Yeah. Like we we've seen you try to fight it with ARs and not really be able to make that work. So yeah, it's it, a lot it more difficult. Sense. So a lot more room for error when you're doing it that way. Hey, Trike in the chat. If you haven't missed it yet, this is a uh, game five, right? Scoreline is four. Er, <laughs> if it was four, the series would be over. Scoreline is 3 to 1, favoring Just Carrier right now. Use that initial scuffle, we're gonna do some damage to the Salvager there. I think I can safely ignore that LAV and just get the kill here. Yep, there it is. So this is what I did in the, uh... In the Kartoba game, if you remember, I have that second PC queued and we're going straight for Sandskimmer raiding. Except this time, I don't even have two on RUs back at home yet, which is... This is like a very, very aggressive uh, CU focus. Like, we're not gonna have railguns for a long time, but I guess the hope is that it probably just doesn't matter. Yeah, I think the, the important part is probably keeping up with those LAV numbers. And to that end, second PC is already out. Breeding finishes. Salt pack Tekken for just carrier. Still about 40 seconds out though, and this is a good fight for me. Okay, now I should probably back out though, he's got a bit of high ground. I think that was a 2 for 2 in the end. Yeah, it looks like it based on the unit's lost tab. And uh, damage one teching, it's gonna finish in two seconds. That would be pretty big for me. So the salt pack still isn't done for carrier. But looks like I can't jump into that one just yet. I'm gonna have to back away a little bit more. I love playing this type of game, man. I mean, it's very nervous, but like in a good way, you know? It gets the heart racing. Especially when you're up against the wall in the series. Not that I did that on purpose, of course. Just carrier was just, just beating me fair and square, but. Feels good, you know? Damage 2 is done for the skins now, so I think, uh... I was contemplating it there, just like, take, tanking the run-up and saying, yeah, it's okay, I'll lose a few and then see what damage I can do, but... He does actually- oh no, he used the boost! So I guess I maybe could have done that, but... I'm gonna choose to back out anyway. What's going on with my middle mouse button? There we go. 
Uh, really tense game state right now. Like, oh, I think sure. that's good for me. He still doesn't have boost. Uh oh. Oh yeah, you're overrunning here. Yikes! That's a lot of dead LEDs right there. I'll tell you what. Hey, I guess the plan worked, huh? <laughs> Just commit to nothing but LAVs, and that'll that'll counter nothing but LAVs. Wait, what? What am I saying? Nothing but skims. You know what I'm getting at here. Two ALMs up on the high ground, actually doing quite a lot of good disruption, but still, two selves end up falling, and I think I'm still winning the Strikecraft battle here. Damage two is teching for just carrier, but it's not done yet. And ALM starting to fall. Down they go. Yeah, and it looks like I just have the numbers to sit oh. underneath the carrier and kill selves. And just carrier knows it. He's he's done. Yeah, once you can once you can just be sitting there killing salvagers, that's always pretty desperate for your opponent. Well, there you go. We're gonna move into game six now. That was a quick one. Especially compared to game three, am I right? <laughs> And game six is going to be on the Boneyard. Well, Again, this is actually good for Carrier. Because even though I think this is a good map for me, what it means is that the Shallows will be the ace match. And so that's one that I'm not really excited to play on, and I'm kind of upset that uh, the order turned out the way that it did. So this is a very, very savvy pick from Just Carrier. It's good on him. All right, I'm on 29.55. You? Me too. Alrighty, on go. Three, two, one, go. Now I think uh, I had pretty much decided that this game I was just gonna rush again and then the last game will go eco and try and finish it off like that. We'll see what Just Carrier's plan is. I think he's just doing the same as before. And I think he kind of has to, because if, if you're getting rushed in the early game with mass skins or even rails, that this is your best bet at holding that. Yeah, I think I would agree. I think I would agree. You know, the other thing about this build, though, and I guess we haven't really had a chance to explore it in this series so far, but... If your opponent does end up going eco, like, these early game LEVs can be quite effective. Um, I wouldn't do this in a, uh, I wouldn't do this in a CBC, but, like, against Galzian, you can actually get quite a lot of pressure done with these LEVs, and it'll help you to be... You know, having defense on the, on the home front, but if your opponent is not rushing, you'll still be powerful with this build. Is it five cells? No, he has a six there, and then he just built a seventh to mine our use here. Which actually, I don't think he did that last game, but maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken. He will need these RUs eventually to get the assault pack going, so wouldn't be surprised. And here's first contact. It's another uh, kind of fun advantage for this build is that, you know, it costs him 100 to open up the wreck, he gets 100 on that first drop, so even if I can deny his two base miners from forever, they weren't, like, a waste. Um, he got his money's worth out of the, out of the debt pack there, so he's not paying for nothing. First trade gonna be a one-for-one, one. that feels pretty okay for both of us. And the game is on. And the uh, second PC on the way for Bosokow. Soul pack on the way for Just Carrier. I think we've seen this before, haven't we? <laughs> uh, just a few times. Just a few times. 
And this this feels like the the part of the rush where you're most vulnerable. Yeah. Carrier's got the production advantage on you, so you've got to be really, really careful about what bites you take. But you can see I actually still got a one for zero there. I'll try and look for little bites if I can, but it is risky to do. Uh, we, we actually saw it in game three, even though that one turned out to be kind of epic, but at the beginning it kind of looked like it was just over because I took a bad trade like this. It's kind of what happened on Torin as well. It was like game four, right? Yeah. Kind of stuck in a little bit too long with those assault rail guns and then got overrun. Mm -hmm. Shrike asks, is going assault ships versus Sobon just suicide? What do you think about that? Because, you know, I've always had the read that it is actually possible to do this, but people generally don't want to try it. I think it's possible to do. Um, I kind of like assault ships as not necessarily a way to end the game, but a way to, like, delay your opponent's seco long enough for you to, like, pull back your production cruisers and eco up. Yeah, because I think the idea is that, uh, because the Saban carrier has Sunder with its railguns, you can't... Okay, hold up, there's a fight brewing here, maybe? No, oh, looks like we get a back away. Because the carrier has Sunder on its railguns, you can't really go in there with the assault ships, but... If you just attack where the carrier isn't and stop him from getting two base up, I think it can still work. It, it like most things in DOK, okay, it comes down to position. Absolutely. Damage two about to finish for me, and the boost was just used, so I think I'm gonna jump on him here. Where the unit counts right now. Good high ground for me, by the way. Now he's gonna have the high ground, though. Oh, and that high ground is Ooh. really good, actually. It's 11 to 13 right now, so the, the counts are still pretty close. Oh, but that's a lot of blue pluses I'm seeing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't think this is working out. Oh. Armor 1 just finished as well, that's gonna be pretty valuable for him. Yeah, you don't have the numbers to fight this, and... We're kind of hung out to dry too, right? It's not like these PCs are gonna make it back home, are they? Doesn't look that way. There it is, there's and the GG. There's the GG. And you know what? That's the last map, right? The scoreline's 4-2 to two now, so just Carrier wins. How about that, huh? Yeah, very, very well played to Just Carrier, winning his first Turaki Cup. Yeah, that's gonna give him the gold, man. He's got the golden roll over on my server. It's very fun to see. Actually, I was hoping maybe you hadn't noticed that before we cast this, because that would spoil for you what the outcome was, right? <laughs> yeah, um... A, a game spoiled it for me a little bit when, oh. uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he put the message, he had the spoiler tag on, but you clicked on it, eh? Yeah, I'm I'm a simple girl. I I see a spoiler tag. I click on. <laughs> you gotta click on it. <laughs> no, really, great series for Just Carrier. That one was really back and forth, and it's kind of funny. He did like the same build on every game except for uh, Canyon Outpost and Torrent Crater. But you yeah, know, it... I really was pretty confident that I would beat it, and he showed me up. It worked for him. Like if you if you're getting rail rushed over and over again. Like, it's, it's a reliable answer, and Chess Carrier is the kind of player who, I mean, every build he does, he's drilled it enough times that... Yeah, he doesn't make sloppy mistakes, you know, put his, put his guys on the wrong resource type, whatever. Yeah, no, very, very well played, and definitely a well-deserved win. Yeah, and I kind of wish we could have seen it in this series at some point, but like I said, uh, if I were to go eco into this, he would actually still have pretty good chances because the LAVs give you a lot of pressure, you slow your opponent down, and you can get your economy set up and pretty much be even in the mid-game. Or ahead, I mean, if your opponent makes a lot of mistakes. But, but that would never happen with me, come on, right? Mistakes? No. 
<laughs> never, never. Never. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This was an awesome tournament. And big thanks to everyone who joined it. And even bigger thanks to Cow Schmau for co-casting. Really, I gotta tell you guys, it's a lot easier to co-cast than do it on your own. Yeah, definitely a lot more fun. Take a bow, my friend. Take a bow. Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will catch you in the next one. Till thanks then. for watching. The See Dual Cows, time. signing off.